So what's good, y'all? It's your boy T Weezy on the beat, man. Got your boy Japan high in the building. You know what I mean? Um, where you come from, bro? I'm from the city. I'm from Fort Wayne. <laughs> okay, you from Fort Wayne. Yeah. You from Fort Wayne. Okay, that's what's up. How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Dang, I'm getting old. Yeah, I'm Twenty-seven, young, coach. I'm Dang. Young, nigga. Nah, for real, that's what's up. That's what's up, bro. Nah, but uh, it's good you on the scene, though. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of young. I know it's a lot of young people. That's hopping out there on the music scene. They doing good. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so, uh, I saw you before, though. I saw you on my guy, 260 Production. Yeah, my guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, he hard. He nice. Appreciate that. He got a nice sound. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yo, your melody singing yeah. is what caught me more than your rapping. Right. You rap, too. But it caught me when you, I'm like, okay, he's an artist song a little bit. Mm -hmm. He sing a little bit, all right. See what we really got. Um, so that really caught me by surprise. Mm. And then you hit me and was like, try to do a 20 questions. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So now you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You're here. Feel good to be in this motherfucker, man. I've been trying to get in for a minute. You I know, know, man. I'll be I'll be busy. Coach. Oh, yeah, everybody got their busy. own life to live, right. you know? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, so, man, uh, how many years have you been rapping? You know what I'm saying? Man. I got in this shit like two years ago in 2020. I was down in Miami okay. with my uh, homeboy Jew and Sean. And he was out of Miami fucking around and shit. And he happened to have a studio and shit. Okay. I always loved music and shit. I was like, man, I want to do music and shit, but I ain't never really got into the shit. But right. he had a studio and I made my first song and I dropped it. It was called uh, Drug Addict. Okay. And I put it on all platforms and the feedback I got from that shit, everybody was like, yo, I'm fucking with this shit. You hard and shit. Yeah. I brushed it off and shit. Right. I got back to the uh, city and shit. And then I got, I found 260. Right. And then I made my first song with him, which was uh, emotional. Then I made Vince and he told me like, yeah, yeah you hard, and, like keep going and shit. So right, right. Ever since then, I kept going. If I ain't went to Miami, I really you wouldn't be sitting here right sitting now. Here. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Crazy how the events turn out, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it take that one person to be like, oh, just try it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you never know what you're going to come out from it. Yeah. And you got good positive feedback. That's always good. Yeah. A lot of people don't get that good positive feedback when they first start out. And they, oh, they get discouraged. Yeah. And then they be like, oh, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you didn't, though. Yeah. A lot um, of motherfuckers uh, criticize. Some people not gonna fuck with it, with the woo. And I like uh I like criticism. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me right. what you don't like so I can fix that, you know. Right. Just help me get better. Yeah. Feel that's me? that's what's up. Yeah. I know a lot of people, even in my age and whatnot, they don't like criticism. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They just think they're the goat, they're the best. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that criticism is what make you better. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be where I'm at if I ain't know how to take criticism. Right. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be here right now. So if you know that at an early age, you've already went, you know what I mean? You're 19, mm -hmm. you, you got the whole world in the palm of your hands now. Yeah. Especially in the music game, you know what I mean? Uh, with technology, Instagram within itself, it was hard to get famous and yeah. whatnot, you know what I mean? For me, uh, coming up and whatnot, cause I used to rap too. Mm -hmm. And I had a couple of deals on the table and whatnot, but it was harder then. Um, but now, you can generally create your own fan base, your own promotions, your everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and you just gotta go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. So, yeah, uh, I was doing a little bit of research on you. You got you got four songs. What is what is my favorite song of yours? Cause I was listening to it the other night, I swear I was. And I was like, oh that's hard. Uh was it talking to the devil? I think it was talking to the devil. I think I was talking to the devil, yeah, and it was, it was small, I'm like, okay, it was just hard. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn, he really killed that. Mm -hmm. What did, what did, what did you come from with that? Like, like with, with the song, like, my yeah, idea, with, with it? The, with the song, like, like, cause it seems like you're going through a lot of pain. Yeah. 
and especially when you sing it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, he on that pain music. Yeah. And that's dope. That's a good wave to get on right now because yeah. everybody doing it. So um, with that motherfucker right there, see, I lost my uh, my homeboy, Coop, uh, in February two years ago and shit. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then it's like a lot of anger was in me. Like I was, I was angry and shit. And also sad, I was going through depression and shit. Mm -hmm. And then with that beat, it was it was hard. I I wanted to make it hard, but I still wanted motherfuckers to feel me. Because right. at first I was just rapping on it. I was in the studio rapping on it, like punching and just rapping. Mm -hmm. I was like, nah, I got to find a way to make them feel me. I want to let right. this shit out. Right. So that's when I got loud. I started singing on it and shit. And then okay. the flow came. I just, when I get in the studio, I just ride the beat and shit, you know. For y'all little guys in the cell, I miss you. Okay. And after that, nigga, I just went beast mode on the motherfucker. Yeah. That's all it was. Nah, for real, you did. You did. I was like, okay, it's hard. Mm. Um, speaking of beats, um, do you? So I know with distribution and whatnot, do you buy the beats or do you? Yeah. You, know, oh, okay. you always gotta buy the beats. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. One time, uh, I had this hard ass song, and then I didn't. I didn't buy the beat, and then I went back to try to buy it. I don't know if it was sold already. So, yeah. Use it. Yep, yep. And that happens a lot. Yeah. Happens a lot more than people know. You're like, dang, I just made a hard song on this, and then it go. My fault. You got me yawning. Man, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> dang. I know it'd be contagious. Man. Uh, yeah, no, man, that, because that definitely happens a lot. Uh, that happened with, um, that happened with my guy Swindle. You know what I mean? He had his project up, he had the whole project up. Next day, they took the whole project down. Cause he didn't, get, cause he didn't get one of the beats. Oh. And then, boom. And then he had got the beat. And then now everything was smooth away, squared away. He cool with the producers and everything. Mm -hmm. That's how you build relationships, too. You got to build relationships with the producers mm -hmm. and engineers. That's how you're going to solidify yourself in the game. You get cool with them? You in there? Mm -hmm. You in there. Um, speaking of producers, so I was on Instagram one day. And I was uh, scrolling, and then I had um, I saw your story uh, about you and Two Six O Productions. Mm -hmm. He wasn't trying to release the song to you, right? Um, would you care to go on that? I mean, like, uh, nah, because shit, we we locked in now, okay. so okay. you know, I'm I'm gonna leave okay. the past in the past, shit. For sure, not me. Nah, for real, I definitely feel. Nah, shout out to 260 for yeah, that's, that's my guy. That's my guy. He's cool. He dope. Yeah, sure. he cool. Always keep it 100. Definitely. He always gonna look out, regardless, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, man, what's the what's the come from Japan high, right, man? Where do you where do you wanna go? What is your what's your goals with this with this music? Um, man, to really just feed my people okay. and really get my my uh my voice out. Like, I want motherfuckers to understand where I'm coming from. My right. pain, like, everybody yeah. go through pain, but everybody yeah. don't got the voice to lay it down on the mic or find a way to express it. Okay. So through music, I want, sure. you know, like, a, it's like therapy. When they hear it, they're like, damn, it's therapy. Okay. I'm fucking with this shit. Like, I go through the same shit that Japan go through. Because we all human, we all got emotions. You know, right. we all got feelings. Everybody can go through depression shit with the wolf. That's true. I just want, like, my voice to get out there and shit. Be able to feed my family and shit, you know. Okay. Live That's a comfortable what's up. ass life and shit. That's good. Dang, I gotta stop yawning, coach. I've been <laughs> up since like four this morning. Yeah. Um, nah, that's that's good though. Um, that's good. So you got an end game goal. Um, as far as music, what's uh, what's like? You got a project in mind, or you just dropping singles? Or because I see you just dropping singles for now yeah. on iTunes. I do. I got a project in mind, but. I feel like right now, it's it's too early to 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 even start working on it. Cause okay. in my mind, I feel like even though I got like over a hundred songs in my phone, right? I still feel like I'm nowhere close to where I'm able to drop a a, a project yet. I still okay. got more to do, you know. Okay. And my my goal is to to leave the city before I even drop a project, like mm. move up out the city. Okay. You know I mean? Is there is there a reason for that though? Because once you get the city behind you, then you can go anywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, but I know it's hard to get the city behind you when you fresh, yeah. when you new. But you just gotta get out there. Yeah, I feel like 
if I if I get out the city, you know, go to somewhere where I got a bigger opportunity, mm -hmm. meet new people. That's my number one thing. Right. Meet new people, work with new people. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I lock in with you. I'm gonna make sure I find some other engineers and producers in the city too. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna I wanna I wanna learn how to engineer, produce. Because if I know how to do all that, when it's time, like when I don't got nobody. Hey, can you mix mix and master this song? Can you do this? I get in the studio. Nah, I can't. With the I can say I got my own shit. I can do it on my own. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to, you know, right. rely on too much people. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I feel and I, and, I, and I believe that's that's the importance. Like rappers, artists in general, definitely should at least learn how to record mm -hmm. themselves. That way, when they do get in a situation, you know what I mean? I'm like All right, but I, I could just send it to you. And then the engineer can still mix it. And then you send the stems out, be good to go. He mix it, and then he straight. But I gotta stop yawning. God damn, it's like my first time, coach. Sheesh. Oh, man. But nah, um, yeah, like, like the art, man, I, I love when artists send me stems, especially when they know how to record. Now, you know how to record, and it's all uh, like peaking, and it's, you know what I mean, distorted, and. You just ain't record right, I mean, then, then we got a problem. Mm -hmm. But like when you learn how to record, you know, all right, it's got this right here, that right there, all right. Now I just need the engineer to do their stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's when you you form that that bond, that relationship. You like boom, I got a couple artists I do that with from a nap in Chicago. Um, they record and they shoot me the stems. I mix, I tell them what I did, you know, what I, mean? I send it back, what they do right, what they don't like, fix it up. Good to go. Yeah. It's ready. You know what I mean? Save a lot of time like that. Yeah. And it gives you more time to create songs that way too. Cause you, one day you might not be able to get in the studio. Like, all right, man, I got my own stuff at the crib. Let me just do what I do. Mm -hmm. So that's always an advantage. Um, so yeah, man, you, you learn the game, man. Yeah. Um, do you know about the business side no. of the industry? Nah, that's all right. You got to learn it, but that's how it's scary. I understand that it's scary, yeah. but you gotta know it. It's gonna save you. Yeah. Nine out of ten, it's gonna save you. You gotta know right from wrong. You gotta know what the yeah. fuck with, what not the fuck. Yeah, it's a lot to learn. It's a lot to learn. Yeah, yeah. But learn it. to every artist, you know what I mean? You gotta learn it. Because if you don't learn it, yeah, you gonna get screwed over. Yeah. For real. You gonna get screwed over. Yeah, yeah man. So, do you, do you do any features or anything like that? Nah, really, I don't really. It's just me, I don't really like working with other people. Like, yeah. it ain't none, it ain't none to them. It's just me, like, right. I like to make a song and finish it. I like to be on the whole song. I don't want to share no song with nobody. Like, me and Jew, shout out to Jew with 414 right. and them. Right, right. But me and him got right. over like, shit, 90 songs made together. That's oh. the only dude I ever did a feature with. Oh, no, Rico just dropped the project. Rico just pro uh, Rico finesse, Rico finesse, yeah. Yeah, he hard as fuck. He yeah, put me on his project. Yeah, yo, yo. That's the first uh, dude who ever put me on the project and shit. That's what's up. So yeah, I, gotta I show love. Yeah, because I, I yeah. fuck with him. I did a feature because I really fuck with his music, and I can't, yeah. I can't just do no feature just because, you know, you you paid me and shit. Like if I don't fuck with the song, right. I don't feel comfortable on the song. No, Res I feel respectfully, bro. I can't hop on it. I'm not gonna hop on it. Right, right, right. You feel and that's, me? And that's good. You know what I mean? Because I know a lot of people, they'll be like, yeah, I just got paid three, four hundred for this feature. They about to do what they do on it, and they don't even care about the song. They don't promote it. They don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? They just did what they did to get paid, which is cool. So you got to respect and love for the music. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love that. Love that. Because you don't find too many people that's like that. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're if doing it for the money, you're in it for the wrong reasons. Yeah. You know what I mean? So whether you're making a dollar, you ain't making a dollar. Mm -hmm. You gotta go get it. For sure. Gotta chase your dreams. Um, For sure, it's real. Yeah, man. Where can they? Where can the people find you at, man? Man, Cause you new. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm real new. You real? I hardly got too much songs out. Right. I'm everywhere. I'm on YouTube. Motherfucking goddamn spin real. Goddamn Apple Music. YouTube. Boy says spin real. I ain't heard that in man, a minute. Man, spin real, man. <laughs> Trenches. <laughs> I'm everywhere. You can find me everywhere. Just look up Japan High, man. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to pop up. For sure. For sure. For sure. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Um, man, are you planning on getting in the studio after this uh, interview? Man, 
<laughs> Hell nah, man. I ain't got. I don't even think I got some songs I want to record. Mm. For real, for real. I've been on the dry spell. Like, mm. I done recorded so much, bro. What? Like, I just got so much shit sitting in the vault, bro. I got to mm. find something to do with these motherfuckers, and they all mastered. They all done. Mm. I just don't know what to do or when I want to release them with the rule. Because at this point, bro, I need some music videos out. I need to do some music videos. Right. I need to get some shit out. Because I got some hard shit to right, come right, out, right. bro. Definitely. I, I feel like. I feel like, damn, in Japan, you missing out, boy. You better hop on the type shit, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, I definitely would say if you dropping single, project, album, whatever, when you dropped it, you got to have a video. Mm -hmm. got to have a video. It's a market, one-on-one. -on -one. You know what I mean? That's what you got to learn. Hey, I got a question for you, though. I know you doing the questions, but I want to ask you uh, I, how you came up. Like, what what made you get into this shit? Oh, um, man, what made me get into it, my... uh. Really, I mean, I was an artist at first. I was an artist, and then um, I was at the YMCA when I was like 11 years old, and I won this little rap contest. Mm -hmm. um, it was with uh, one of Mike Jones' producers, mm -hmm. and um, I had won it. And then after that, I just started rapping and rapping. And then I was like, dang, how they make beats? Or how they get the music behind the lyrics? So when I, so then I looked up that, and then what really drove me, um, was my uh, brother, my brother Antoine. He um he had died when I was eleven. Mm -hmm. He had got shot, and he, he he used to help me with my raps and whatnot. So, uh, um, I still was rapping and whatnot, but I was doing both at the same time. But that's what pushed me, and that's what still pushes me to this day. Um, even though I do have another brother, you know what I mean. I love him to death, but that just fuels me. Like if he could see where I'm at now, he'd be like, "Dang, too easy doing it." And, but that's what just keeps me going. Mm. Yeah. That pain, that aggression. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I felt that one for real. Yeah. So that's what just keeps me going. And I didn't, I didn't work with so many people. I didn't did it for so long. You know what I mean? I already knew at eleven, this that was what I wanted to do. Mm. Told myself I'm, I'm gonna be an audio engineer, and music producer. And now I'm living. Why you ain't you ever thought of uh, leaving the city? Oh yeah, multiple times. Yeah, I still can leave the city. I have, I have people that I could work with right now. That's like in Atlanta, yeah. Cali, you know what I mean, Florida. Um, and I can go when I get ready. I mean, they waiting for me. Yeah. But I ain't, I ain't in no rush. Yeah. It's still work here to be done. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Like, I like to spread the love. So I always try to make something happen in my city first before I go out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Man, because... This nigga just showed me his beats. This nigga ain't nothing to fuck with, bro. For real, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It was like, man, go fuck with T. Weezy, man. You need a beat, because I need a beat to this song. Like, they can say, go fuck with T. Weezy. Everybody like, T. Weezy, T. Weezy, T. Weezy. Yeah. Like, all right, man, I'm, I'm gonna hit him up to see what the, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Yeah, man, I've been I mean, on my grind. It, it wasn't, and, and I heard the song, too. And I could have made a beat for it. I was just doing so much stuff. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get back to you with it. Yeah. And how you really wanted it. I would have had to have you in the studio. I'm like, all right, but you are gonna sit down and really work on this one, yeah. like for real. Cause that's how I like to work. I like to work with the artists, get them in the studio, make the beat in front of their face. You know what I mean? Cause a lot of producers don't do that no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They just send it out. All right, but I'm that type I'm from the old school era. You know, I'm 27. I like to sit down. I like to really work. I put in that work. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't knock nothing from the new way neither. You know what I mean? Sometimes I go, I bet. You make a beat, I'm about to make it, send it to you. Oh, got it. All right, pay. So, but um, but I like to build that connection, yeah. that bond. You know what I mean? That's what it's about, yeah. establishing the connections. And yeah. when you have the right connections, you can do anything. Yeah, that's what I be saying, bro. The bonds, the chemistry, connections. Yeah. Shit important. It is. It's for definitely real. important. I wouldn't be right here where I'm at if I ain't had the connections. Mm. For real, I wouldn't even be right here. But yeah. A lot of motherfuckers be like, I don't need nobody. Who, who I can do this shit on my own. Nah, Man, you, you gonna you gonna fall, bro. You, you can't. You gonna need people. You need a team. Yeah. You need a team. You gonna need people. I hate when motherfuckers say that. I don't right. need nobody. I can do this shit on my own. Right. You can't, bro. The greatest can't even do it on their own. You can't do it on your own, bro. Right. You need people. Yep. Everybody use somebody in some aspect, yep. not even in a bad way. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Yep. 
You yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, that shit real. For sure, man. It was a pleasure having you on, man. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I know it was short and quick, but you got your point across. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. That was the whole purpose of it. You know what I mean? For sure. Pretty much rocking with me. Appreciate you having me on this motherfucker, Weezy. Yup.